just below the lip, just left the parking lot on the Tennessee side. And we're headed down into the gorge. I guess I need to tell you the date. Um, this is April the 9th, 2016. We're starting to see some green. Um, low tonight is expected to be about 33. So fortunately we don't have to worry about our water freezing. But it will be cold and it will be windy. It's a pretty good breeze right now. Alright, we'll check back in a little bit. Starting to lose a little bit of elevation, but it's slow. Just thought I'd stop and show you what the trail conditions look like. It's <laughs> great compared to where we normally backpack. Blazed, um, clear, a couple of small limbs here and there, but <laughs> Robin, you know, you go up to Joyce Kilmer and hike up in the Slit Rock, you're uh, it's 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 constant over and under and around trees, so. Anyway, we're making progress. Check back in later. Bye-bye. All right, this is the turn for Mill Creek Cave. I've hiked down to it once. I haven't been back. Mill Creek Blowhole. So we're 2.1 miles in, if that's accurate. Alright, she's going to run off and leave me again. Alright, thought I'd better stop and check back in. Um, in a little bamboo field. Kind of a nice little area. Yeah. We had water higher up, but we haven't seen really much uh, here recently. I'm sure that'll change. Alright. I better catch back up with her. Alright. Thought I'd give everybody an update real quick. We are down to the stream. We are in Alabama. You can tell you're in Alabama. There's a sign designating the Tennessee Wildlife Management Area. And then the blazes for the Alabama are the um, little backpacker symbols. Beautiful day. Kind of breezy, a little bit chilly. Be around 50 today. Glorious day to be out on the trail, I can tell you. All right, let me get that here. So. I believe this is Hurricane Creek. I'd have to look at the map to verify it, but as you can tell, it receives a lot of water. It's 
we're trying to decide where to camp. Go ahead and go all the way to the normal camping area or, or find something else more secluded. But we haven't made that mind up yet, so we'll keep going. Thought we'd give you another little picture. There are several creeks that come together here. Um, Turkey, Hurricane, I think there's a couple others, I'm not sure of the names, sorry. But uh, that's what makes this area kind of unique is you've got this convergence from so many different water sources. Alright. We're almost to the intersection with the Alabama, tr the trail that comes in from the Alabama trailhead. Sorry, I don't think they have a name or a number. Um, if they do, I'm not familiar with it, but just nice little stroll along the uh, flowers and vegetation. There's a spring right here, um, which always has a lot of water. Coming out of a cave system that's up underneath the mountain. And then it flows right into the main creek, just 30 yards or so. And a couple of, I don't know. 100 yards, 200 yards or so, this creek turns into this since there's so much water. And there's still more creeks that's going to feed into here. And the bridge. Gotta like the bridge. I'll show you that when we get up there. Okay, this is the um, one of the other creeks. This is the water that actually comes out of the walls. We are close to the main camping area. It's right on that in that field. So. There's two bridges like this. This required to cross or wade through the water, take your pick. Alright. The main camping area. Camping is not limited to this area, but it's where the bulk of the people stay. Scout groups, big groups. There's a lot of room here for those that are interested. There's a trail that goes up the back side that goes over to an overlooked looks down into the walls. Don't think we're going to do that on this trip. And then you have the Clark Cemetery. We'll check that out here in a minute. This is off from the main camping area. There's some campsites in through here that's kind of a little island, if you will. Huh. Let's see if I can show you the fireworks yeah apparently I met a goal now well, TMI I know
it's still working our way up toward the walls via the stream beds. Main trail is up there. So we found camp and now we're gonna just set up camp and then chill. I've got mine rigged. Now we're gonna entertain you with watching my wife rig. Hey Laura. What? Let's see if she notices that right there. This is cruel of me, but I should tell her, shouldn't I? Why don't you look up? What? It's alive. Almost. Almost, look at the base of it. I know it. Almost? You think it's a damn tree. Almost? You go that one over there? <laughs> I mean, it's good. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I go that one. Yeah, I would. But the problem with that was poison ivy. Go to this one. Okay, this is our first time using the whoopee slang. And I did something a little bit different. I just used the beaner that we always um, hang our shoes from and use that as my stop for the knot. And then I've, I just took some single webbing, tied a loop in it, and made my stringer off of it. And then I had to take my buckle system off and just tie my own... Um, leader right off of the my hammock anyway it seems to work it's more the the whoopee's a little bit it's more adjustable than i thought so i really can reach a, a greater distance so i don't really need as much of this as i thought but we'll we'll fine tune it as we go but i thought the carabiner was a pretty nice touch to to be able to wrap it and use that as the anchor point on something I already had so I didn't have to bring something additional yep all right we'll see how she's doing she's doing good no I'm gonna do this uh-oh marital bliss is at stake here I'm gonna do this all right, we've got camp made. Now we're gonna walk our way up to the walls, show you all the walls. But this is the water coming out of the walls. Walk the log across, Laura. The log. We've uh, still making our way to the walls. We just crossed into Tennessee. Kind of give you an idea of the approach trail and what it looks like. We're at the swimming pool here in a little bit. But let's slip the slide down there, fellas. I can tell you that if you try to walk up that, you won't stay on your feet long.
So this is the cave that feeds the stream. I told you she wasn't going to do it. Well, she's got to now. Oh, just do it. <laughs> Long you wait. Oh, she did it. So now we're headed out. We are passing the little spring. We went ahead and did the bridge crossings and all that. Now we're just exploring as we exit. I 
Alright, if I see anything else we will definitely share it with you.